Hello friend, welcome again in Mastering Map Struct Spring Board series. So previously, we in previous our video, we see that how we can map our entity class to DTO and DTO class to end, right? But that time, that was the basic map and our entity attributes and our DTO attributes was same. So we don't need to configure any. But what happened when our, when our Java bean is different in DTO class and in our end. So let's see what will happen. So let's suppose I'm creating one entity as a user. So this is a user entity and now I'm going to create a user DTO. So this is our user DTO. Now let me maximize this. And so here you will see uh, in our DTO, user DTO, we have a first name. Last is the same as the entity, but email is here in the entity class we have a email but in DTO we have a email id same as phone number in the user or entity user entity but contact number is in the user DTO so let's see what will happen when we are implementing the basic mapping so before that uh, I will create I will quickly create the repository for the user entity and uh, the service and controller so I'll quickly create that so firstly I will create a user repository so this is our user repository now let's create a service for our user service let's annotate it as a service okay and before implementing the user service let me create a mapper for that so let's create a interface as a user mapper and as we did in our previous video if you don't see my previous video of the basic mapping with map struct, I will add the link in a description section so you can check out also and I will sh uh, I will give the in a i button also the link of the previous. So let's just start with that. So firstly, we will have to, to annotate this annot uh, this interface mapper and component model equal to spring. And if you don't know what is the mean of the component model, so I already explained in my previous video, you can check out and you can understand. So we will go ahead and we will quickly create our all three method, abstract method, user to entity and the yo. So we already did these things in our previous video, nothing new. So I'm just quickly create that. So user D2 without definition because I already given the to that video. So you can check out that. So to, to DTO and it will convert in the user. Right, and the third one is our list of user DTO to our list list of user list. Import this util. Okay, so we created that. Now we will go to implementation of our server. So we add the implementation of our user service save user the same method and same as a user by id so find by id and the, this we already discussed in previous video right get to user list so all things are done now let's create a controller for that so user controller and annotate it with the controller so controller is also done so these code are self-explanatory i don't think we need to explain this code so i will quickly run this program and so our spring boot is up and running so let's go to our browser and swag so here our swagger is there and user control is already there so let me post some data to the id okay so we know that uh, this email id and this contact number is different right so this this are coming from the these two attributes are coming from the dt so let's see what will happen if we are not mapping properly so uh, java puzzle users email id is java puzzle dot com contact number 158 okay let's execute now when i will click on the get and let's see what data is coming so here you will see the all three data is coming properly but this email id and contact number is coming as a null so why this is happened because in in the target if i will show you in the target and in generated source in user mapper implementation you will see here they are mapping only the id first name and last they don't know how to map the contact number and email id of the user and user dto because both are the different so now the, in this problem how we can resolve that so let's go in the user mapper and in the mapper we have to we have to tell our mapper how we have to map 
this phone number and email show you how we can so here there is a one more annotation is map okay in the mapping if i will go inside this annotation you will see there is a, some method target source state format and these are the other we will see one by one but for now we have to focus on the target and so so back in our user mapper so in the mapping first thing was the source firstly we have to tell that what is the source so close all close other and i will just open the user and user dt these two things we required so here the source is a user dto and target is user so firstly the source should be user dto from user dto we have to map our email id copy the email id and just provide here and this email id what would this is the source so what would be the target target is user so from the user we have to pick this email and target provide email right same thing we have to do for the phone number also so copy the contact number contact number and from so the same thing we have to do for our this one but one thing you should have to remember that in this case our source is user and target is user dto so we have to just replace it should be the source and the target same thing so this would be the target okay understand now when we are mapping this so we we tell our mapper so what we have to pick from the user dto and what we have to pick from the user for the email and for the phone number right so for this list of user dto and list of user we don't have to map so that's it uh, uh i have to rerun my program and i will also press this so in the table we have a contact we have a user open this so you will see the email and phone number null so uh, let me delete this so delete user where i uh, i equal to delete from right uh, let or or i will just trunk it or trunk it just i am truncating it and now you will see it's a blank okay so our spring boot is up and running let's go in a swagger so now we are in a swagger now i'm going to insert some data java puzzle email id java at dot com now execute it see all the data is populate now let's see in the user also if i will click on the execute now you will see id2 and the also come and we will see this one too and we will the list of user dto is also working so this is the video if you think this video is helpful just share with your friend and stay tuned for the next lecture of the thank you